Well, living away from home has its challenges. Now, to cope, some African immigrants are finding ways to share that homely spirit. For more, here's Africa 54's Ndimi Akimwakalele. Hello, Ndimi. Thank you, Vincent. Well, Africans from the southern part of the continent recently gathered in the Washington, D.C. area to meet, greet, and organize ways to work together as a community going forth. These are some of the members of the Southern African Community USA. Go Saku! Osaku, a recently formed grouping of citizens of countries that make up the Southern African Development Community, or SADC, here in the U.S. Hi, uh, my name is Margaret Parakis. I am from South Africa. Hi, I'm Sidinga and I'm from Malawi. Uh, my name is Cassandra Roda Gurney. I am from Zimbabwe. My name is Mimi Pollen. I'm from Botswana. <laughs> they are pleased with the turnout of their maiden union party and picnic. <laughs> A sizable number of their fellow Southern Africans united for one big family daytime event and later a party, Southern African style. <laughs> Organizers want the participants to network socially and professionally while having fun, but there's also a greater objective. On a bigger level, getting representatives um, in the county government so that we can get other things passed, like immigration is a big issue for Africans, and we have other needs that are unique to the African community. So if we do um, work together, we can achieve a lot more. Besides the flags representing the different Southern African countries, unique regional features included a sizzling barbecue, or braai, as it is called in many Southern African countries, mingling and catching up while enjoying a favorite African pastime, watching soccer. For many of the participants here, the event was exactly what the organizers hoped it would be. My name is Felix Lindere. I'm from Malawi. There will be a lot of uh, communication between the different countries. And through that, there will be a lot of networking, and that's really important for us. I mean, people like us, some of us who own businesses. My name is Asteria Hiera. I'm from Tanzania. For me, always trying to expose my, my little boy and his cousins and other African children and families to other Africans in the region, um, I had to be here. I'm Pamela Tendo, and I'm from Malawi. I'm Jerica from America. And I'm Vanessa Mandala from Malawi. And what brings you here today? Uh, it just looked like a great event and just a way to meet a lot of people from South Southern Africa, so I'm here. Well, joining us now to tell us more about Saku is its founder, Rachel Nyewete, who hails from Namibia, and we welcome her to Africa 54. Rachel. Hi, thank you for having me. Oh, it's our pleasure. I think you're the first Namibian I've met here in the Washington <laughs> area. Are there many of you? I'm usually the first most people meet. I hear that a lot. Um, really? There is not many of us, but more are coming on board. Okay, and I guess through SACO is one way. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about your um, organization. Is it an organization? Is it just a, a grouping of friends? What exactly is it? SACO is a non-profit organization based in Washington, D.C. area. Mm -hmm. SACO stands for Southern African Community USA. Mm -hmm. And I came up with the idea to bring our community together because living in the USA, whenever you hear about Africa, usually think is Africa or West Africa. Mm -hmm. Our region is underrepresented. So we came together as a community so we can promote our region, our culture, and our history. Mm -hmm. It's just a way for us to organize ourselves better so we can promote our region. Now, there are a lot of, even though you mentioned, of course, that some of them are broken up regionally, there are a lot of African groupings around that do try to bring every African together. So by trying to be distinctively Southern African, what is going to be different about your organization? Um, basically, because um, Africa is a big continent. Mm -hmm. We all have different cultures and different ways of doing things. Um, I believe uh, Southern Africa stands apart slightly from other regions of Africa. We're mm -hmm. all one community, we're all one continent. We are a, a people. But we're not trying to divide anybody. We just want to find a way to organize ourselves so we can better promote our region. Because like I mentioned earlier, we are very underrepresented. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't know much about Southern Africa. I'm very passionate about our region, and I just want to promote that and my team as well. We just want to get that across to the USA so everybody knows where Namibia is, where Botswana is. Because most, most of the time people just know where Nigeria or where Ghana and Uganda, they don't know much about Southern Africa. Mm -hmm. So that's why I want to you know, come together as a team, 
can promote that region of Africa. I see. So tell me about some of the issues you want to tackle. We heard some of them in the piece saying that immigration is an issue, resource distribution among Africans. Yeah. How do you plan to do that as SACU? Basically, SACU, um, just in, in, pro, in um, promoting our, our, re, our region, uh, we want to also focus on education. Um, but you're dealing with Africans here in the U.S. Well, right, Africans here in the U.S. So, so you're dealing with the county offices, you're dealing with the, the senators or representatives of the state? Yes, we are. Um, we actually joined the um, African Montgomery African Advisory Board mm -hmm. so we can um, get together and dialogue on ways that we can actually improve the set of Africans in the area, especially in, you know, when it comes to education. Mm -hmm. um, just to make sure that you know, our people are getting the right education that they need to move forward and improve because we all came to America so we can you know, tap into this land of opportunities, mm -hmm. so we can improve our lives. So we want to make sure we, we actually empower our people so they can do all that they need to do when they're here and when they can, they can also contribute to the development of Africa, especially Southern Africa. Mm -hmm. So why a picnic? Uh, I, think that, I think I heard one of the people in the piece say that this was the first time they'd ever heard about a picnic for Southern Africans. Why did you think about that? Um, a picnic, we call it braai in Southern Africa. Yeah. It's a way that we come together as one people, enjoy ourselves, eat wonderful food. It's a way to bring people together. And, you know, picnics are the best way to do it mm -hmm. because everybody likes, you know, to eat, obviously. So tell me a little bit going forth, uh, forward, how strong is the African community as a whole? And you trying to envision this organization as SACU, do you really see it, enough unison among people here to make it strong and viable? I believe Africans are, are very proud people. We are proud of where we come from. And I believe SACU will help to strengthen that, especially bringing that an African community to the rest of the African community in the USA. Mm -hmm. Um, because like I mentioned earlier, when you have events, you hardly ever see Southern Africa represented. So we will partner with other African organizations. Uh, when they have the Africa Fest in mm -hmm. Silver Spring, they have it every year. We plan to partner with them and um, help to bring the Southern African touch. So it's a way for us to unite, to bring the whole, all the regions together, so that you're not just seeing West or East Africa, you're seeing also Southern Africa. And together we become stronger as mm -hmm. a community. And then also in terms of um, you know, the interaction between those in the diaspora and those back home, mm -hmm. how do you channel that, uh, you know, that partnership? Uh, what we do, how we are very, um, we have an active Facebook community mm -hmm. um, where our, our members are also based back home in Southern Africa and also here. And then we do have a lot of discussions online. So that's another way for us to, um, to, you know, to stay in contact mm -hmm. and just to share ideas. I we use social media a lot. Give me another example about how the African, the Southern African community, USA, can really handle and address some of the issues that are a real problem for a lot of the immigrants in this country. Say immigration. Mm -hmm. You know, we've talked a lot about immigration, how the face of an immigrant is a Latina right. or somebody who's not necessarily African, because at rallies you don't find a lot of right. Africans there. So how do you go about, say, really pushing forth the issue for Africans? I believe um, one of the most important things when it comes to actually pushing issues is promotion. Mm -hmm. I feel like more, more in our community, sometimes people just don't know about a rally that's happening. So what we can do um, is disseminate information to our community. Whenever there's an issue about um, immigration, mm -hmm. make sure we reach out to our community, let them know that this is going on, please take part. We can represent also Africans so that you know, their voice is also heard. Mm -hmm. But just a matter of actually letting them know and being very proactive in um, making sure our community is aware of any immigration rallies that are happening. Mm -hmm. And just um, having forums, discussions about immigration, because one of our goals for SAC is to have um, business forums or educational forums so we we'll bring our community together to, dis to discuss any issues that are affecting them. And we are very heavy, very big on communication and promotion, because mm -hmm. that's, that's a key to actually you know, getting the word across to people. Because most people, it's not that they don't want to come because they don't know about it. Mm -hmm. But if you're using TV, social media, to get the word across and let people know whenever an event is coming up, that will be a way for them to actually be aware of what's happening in the community and they can take part in it. Mm -hmm. Now, also, the, the, the footage from the picnic, it really showed there was a lot of vibrancy and, uh, you know, the vi diversity was definitely there. Uh, how, how many people attended and do you plan to do this annually? Right, exactly. We plan on doing this as, as an annual event. It's um, Southern African Reunion every Labor Weekend starting okay. from next year. We had about 500 plus people there this year mm -hmm. and it was our first year and we only planned it in two months. Wow. And I know you, you're distributing these little flyers. Yeah, these wonderful you're... little flyers. Okay. Um, it was wonderfully designed by one of our Malawian. Um, actually, the person who designed this is based in Malawi. Okay. That's another oh, way of well. also empowering our business people who know who are doing business back home in Africa. So she's from Malawi and her name is Tara Kachipanga. And then you also have t-shirts that you... I have a t-shirt for you and I really thank you for me. Yeah, so you know, this is to say thank you for inviting us on our show. So this is our South African community t-shirt. And on the back, yes, a wonderful, you know, information about our 
okay. our organization. This is for you to keep. And of course, if anybody wants a t-shirt, they can go to our website, www.southernafricancommunity.org. Okay. So thank, well, thank you. you so I hope much. you like it. And I, I hope if it. I'm sure it fits you, it fits you right. perfectly. Well, great. I'll support it. <laughs> okay. Rachel Niwete is the founder of the Southern Africa Community USA, and she joined us here on Africa 54, and she gave me a T-shirt. Well, how about that, Vincent? Back to you. She didn't give me one. Thanks a lot, Demi. We want to know what you think about Africa 54 and the stories we cover. Join the conversation on Facebook, and the address is Africa 54. Check out our headlines 24-7 on voaafrica.com.